Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing kind of like a fish haul slash aquarium update. So I did get my new aquarium and some fish accessories that I thought I'd show you. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and the aquarium itself and then me and my mom are going to set it up and then I will show you it afterwards and kind of show you the finishing product I guess. Okay, so this is the glass aquarium that I got. It's a 29 gallon and it's actually in my living room just because it is a large aquarium and I had no room in my pet room for it. And to go with it, we also bought this black um, stand and I really actually like the look of the black stand. So if I just show you, the aquarium sits on top of it and it has a door over there and that clicks open. Sorry for all the smudges. You can see all handprints there. And then it has two shelves as well right there. Um, it just is... <laughs> Hello, Jake. <laughs> it's full of accessories and that type of thing right now. But I like that because I can hide all of my aquarium stuff, like the food, in there. Just because it is in our living room and we don't really want tons of fish stuff lying around. Okay, so the aquarium came with a penguin power filter, and it is still in the box right now, as you can see. And it also came with this LED light bar for the top of the aquarium, and a 200 watt light bulb bar thing to go in it. And the really cool thing about this aquarium, it actually has a setting where it has the light setting for daytime. So it's kind of bright and it makes it all look illuminated. And then it has a night setting as well, which is a lot darker and it's not as stressful for the fish. And it also came with this little bag of goodies, I guess you could say. Uh, it has this green net. Then this um, Tetra care quick and easy aquarium setup guide which just has all different information like on fish and that type of stuff it came with a sample of the tetra min tropical flakes it's um three grams and another sample of the tetra aqua aqua safe um tap water a tap conditioner, that's what it's called, tap water conditioner, and this has enough for a 30 gallon, so I'll only have like a teeny weeny bit left after I use it to put the water in for my aquarium, and then it has a little sheet on the filter for my tank. It came with a little um, temperature thermometer and as you can see it like lights up and I think this goes in the tank I'm not exactly sure maybe outside of it I haven't really read up on it yet and the last thing that it comes with is just two little clips to hook on the top to the aquarium okay so at the gals I purchased some aquarium gravel I got the Estes Spectra Stone premium aquarium gravel and I wasn't exactly sure what color I wanted since there was a black and I was thinking of getting black and mixing in like a bright neon color but I thought this one was really pretty since they had a tank that already had stuff in it and it looked really nice so I got a little five pound bag of this kind of turquoise aquamarine color it just has all different shades of blue and turquoise and to fill up the tank you also need to get a 25 pound bag so 30 pounds of gravel for the tank and this one it seems like the stones are a little bit um, smaller than in this in this bag but I don't think that'll really matter much so I got that aquarium gravel okay so I also purchased a background for my aquarium so if I just back this up a little bit I can show you what it looks like Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare, but it just has these white rocks with white sand and then a nice blue background. And I saw this one again on the little, uh, I don't know what it's called, it's the aquarium that they had set up just for show. And it looked really nice with that gravel, so I thought, oh, I should get it. 
And the cool thing about it is that it's also reversible. So if I'm going for a more darker, like, plant-based theme, I can use this one. And it just has lots of dark blacks, purples, and some nice fluorescent green as well. Sorry, it's all glary there, but that's what it really looks like. I really do recommend going to Big Al's if you're looking for an aquarium background. Uh, they have lots of different choices. They have different color schemes, different aquatic scenes that you're sure to find one that you like. So yeah, I really liked it and they cut it down to size right then and there. So to go with that background, I got this Sea View Background Mounting and Illuminating Solution. Focus. It illuminates and enhances the aquarium background. And if you can see right here, that's what it looks like at the before um, when you don't use the solution, but then afterwards it's supposed to look much brighter and more HD. So I'm not sure if it's a balm or a liquid, but either way, that's what it looks like. And you're supposed to use a credit card afterwards to kind of like flatten it out so that there's no air bubbles trapped. So yeah, I like it. I think I'm hoping it'll make it look really nice and bright and not foggy like that. I also picked up an aquarium plant and this is by the brand Underwater Treasures. <laughs> that took a little long, it was a little delayed, but um, it's just this green spiral plant. It's quite small and yeah. Then I got um, a pack of six cartridges, and they are for my penguin power filter. They're just um, spares, so I don't have to go back to the store and buy one as soon as this other one, as soon as I have to replace the one that I have. <laughs> then I got this aquarium plant. It's by the same brand as the other one, and it's just a really nice vibrant green color, and they have these little leaf plastic parts that have yellow at the tip and then the other part is just kind of has like needly type things. They're not needles but they're actually quite soft. But yeah I thought it looked pretty cool and it was kind of bigger so the fish can hide in it. And then the last four things that I got were four packs of these Hikari algae wafers and these are ideal for algae eaters. They were on deal at the store and the guy recommended them like as treats and plus they're good for algae eaters or like bottom dwellers so I got four packs of them usually this small pack like I saw at my local pet store they were for almost seven dollars but they're they're either $1.99 or $3.99 each and they're just if I feel through the package they're just little pellety things or wafers <laughs> and I'm hoping to get some Quarries for the bottom of my tank. I really like the panda quarries. I think they're just so cute. So, yes, those I got four of those the bomb, the two plants, the aquarium background, and the extra cartridges. Hey guys, so I'm back here with the finished aquarium. So, this is what it looks like. I'm sorry for the glare, it's just really hard to film an aquarium without seeing like reflections and stuff. But it actually is the next day because it was like in the afternoon when we did it and by the time we finished since it took a little while especially to like clean everything and fill it back fill it up um, it was already pretty dark and you didn't weren't able to really see it well so this is what the aquarium looks like right now it's kind of bare um, but the background looks really nice actually it's just the rocks and then we have all the gravel and that took forever to clean um, and then we just have some plants and some little ornaments that I had from my previous fish tank. A shell. The fish seem to really like that. Um, some more plants. A little mermaid. And then we have the filter up there. And the heater right over there. So. Oh, and the little temperature thing right there. So, yeah. And then under here I just have two aquarium books. And over here, there's all the plugs with the extension cord and just really messy supplies. It's not really organized right now. But that is what the finished aquarium looks like. I think it looks pretty good. 
I'm hoping to get more plants and hopefully live plants in the future because I'd love it to be a little bit more planted but not too too planted since I don't want the fish to hide so yes that is the aquarium I hope you enjoyed this video I'm going to be doing a fishless cycle so I'm going to be buying some ammonia and I'm going to be doing that for the next couple weeks so you probably won't see very many updates on the fish aquarium but when I get my fish I'll probably have another haul plus introducing you guys to the fish I'm going to be introducing them gradually obviously so I'll get like more fish later on but yeah I'll do like a little haul and in introducing the fish to you so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon